Welcome to Mishnah Sarim Masukh Megidah Perakim on Mishnah Dalet. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss the four parashiyot. Right? Famously, we have Parashat Shikalim, Parashat Zachor, Parashat Para, and Parashat Ahodesh. Now, how do we read these parashiyot? When do we read them? So, we're going to see from our Mishnah that uh, parashat, parashat Shikalim, we open up with either if the first, if Shabbat falls out on Rosh Chodesh, then we'll read Parashat Shikalim then. If not, right, and Rosh Chodesh falls out the week before, then we're going to read Parashat Shikalim pre-Chodesh Adar, right, beforehand. And then we'll skip a week, and then the next week will be Parashat Zachor, and then in order Parashat, Parashat Para, and then Parashat HaChodesh. If you have uh, Rosh Chodesh falls out on Shabbat, Right? Okay, great. Then you have Parashat Shkalim, and they're not going to have any skips. Parashat you know, Shkalim, Zachor, Paran, Chodesh. And that's how we're going to read. And this is going to be our Mishnah. So Rosh Chodesh Adash, Chadot B'Shabbat. If you have Rosh Chodesh that fell on Shabbat, Purim per Parashat Shkalim. That's when you read Parashat Shkalim. Chadot Betoch HaShabbat, where it falls out during the week. Shabbat over here means the week. Where it falls out during the week. Maktimim L'Shavar. Then you read it the week beforehand, before Chodesh Adar, umafsikin the Shabbat Acheret, then you wait the next Shabbat, you don't read anything special, unique, during that uh, first Shabbat of Chodesh Adar. Bashiniya, the next week, the second week, you read Zachor, Parashat Zachor, Bashilishit Paraduma, right, and Parashat Chukat, and Barvi'i, HaChodesh Hazeh, right, HaChodesh Hazeh, Dechem Rosh Chodeshim, and there, uh, that's the last week, um, you know, in Adar, leading into uh, Nisan. And Bahamishit, Hamishit, Hosrin Lech Sidran. You go back to your normal rotation. What does that mean, normal rotation? You're reading a regular Parashat Shavua anyway, right? This is just something additional. So Rambam over here says that you go back to the normal rotation of Haftarot because during all of these four unique uh, Parashiot, you also have unique Haftarot. So after, during the fifth week, you go back to the regular Haftarot. What are the unique Haftarot? So Rabbam actually mentions them over here. And he says the first week, um, right, with Shekalim, you read about uh, the Muftirim Be'yohoyada Kohen, right? This is in Melachim Bet. Uh, the next one is Kati um, Asher Asa Amalek, right? So this is going back to the story uh, in Shemuel Aleph. Right, with the story of Shaul, Vashilishit, Vizarakia, the Chemaim Tehorim from Yahazkel, and the last one, Berevi, Koma, Shem, Barishom, Behad, Hodesh, also in Yahazkel. Right, then we go back to the regular one. Um, then the Mishnah continues, the Kol Mofsikim, the Rosh Hodashim, Lohanukal Purim, the Ataniot, Ulma Amadot, Ulyom Kipurim, right, we always stop. Right, what do we mean we always stop? Same thing over here, right, we stop our normal um, Haftarah schedule, right, and we'll have a unique Haftarah for Rosh Hodesh, for Hanukkah. Purim, for any fast day, you know, fast days, ma'amadot that we mentioned in Masechet um, Ta'anit, and Yom Kippurim, all these will have a unique haftarah, and not the normal haftarah that we may have, may have read um, during that, uh, you know, during that Shabbat corresponding to Parashat HaShavua, rather uh, corresponding to the, um, you know, the festive, you know, the festival um, of that week.